Yep. All right, I'm on a metal roof and this roof is getting ready. We're getting ready to install the solar heater panels on this area. It's about 200 feet by um, yep. 120 feet. And we got to make sure that this is not going to leak. It has been leaking in the past and a lot of reasons. So everywhere, every, almost every rust. So this roof will rust through within five years and it was, will be gone. Also, but I'm going to show you how we remove this so you get an idea. Okay, here we go. of this it costs more to undo whatever people put on all the garbage and then fixing it it would have been nice to fix it if it was clean so cleaning it is now a big job all right so we got a hole another 150 feet so this is 300 feet down here and then the next step after we got that removed my next step is to clean the nuts, the, the fasteners, like this. Let me show you. Now here's the concept. This is the very top of the building. You see the building here? The very top of the building. You can see that knock. All right, there's another strip on the other side we still have to do, but this is now this side where the uh, solar heating panel is gonna be. So what happened is, and this is just a, a theory, because of the long building and of the heat build up on the inside, the heat rises to the top here on the inside of the building and somehow the moist condensates on this very top end and the condensation then flows down this panel between the two layers, between these two layers. This layer stops probably somewhere there, somewhere there, but the water then flows down between the two layers and then it cannot escape here that's what happened that's one theory water could not escape because of condensation so you never want to close this up on a pitch roof at the very top that's probably not what you want to do on a flat roof yes or a really relatively flat uh, metal roof but on a high pitch roof like this you don't want to close this the other theory is also that these screws some of these screws are loose I, I um, took a talk uh, 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 a rat, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, a ratchet, uh, what do you call this? Um, impact. Impact, an impact wrench, and I tightened all these up. Let me see if I have, I don't have a battery. Okay, I took a impact wrench and I tightened these all up so the new print washers are tight again. I secure these screws even better with a, a dab of a super, a turbo poly seal. So that's what we do. See right there? I had to clean it with a grinder, get all the stuff off, clean it with a grinder, and um, now I can put the turbo poly seal around it, dab of it. So now with The preparation is the most... Yeah, the know? preparation takes the most time. time. Took us three days. Preparation. Yeah. Three days of preparation before we could do this because it was so much gook. 
So that's a problem, preparation. So don't call me and ask me if you should take the tar off or if you should take the silicone off. That is ridiculous. You don't, you want a good job? Do a good job. But don't call me and ask me if, if you should take, remove the tar, the old tar. I'm showing you now, this is what I do. To get a good job, I never have a leak, I never have problems. You don't want to do a half-hearted job. This is it. <clears throat> I'm going to take all base paint, and I'm using a, this one. It's a stain blocker. It's primer, but it's oil base. You got to make sure this is oil base. And I want to further protect the roof because since we use the grinder with a wire brush, we also remove some paint the protective coating on the metal. So that's what you do then. You cover this and that way your um, everything is covered. So you don't have rust, rusty area. Alright, so that's what I do. I um, fix that okay all right just like that and that's it now we know <coughs> this roof will not rust it will not leak in this area and we do this with every seam and every fastener <coughs> okay metal roof seam they got it. This is what we used. These two things. Turbo poly seal and uh, I use Zinzer, but you can use any oil based uh, primer. And you're okay. So, we are. <laughs> so, we are the flat roof doctors. We know a thing or two, two because I've seen a thing or two. two. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. blah. Please blah, thumbs blah. up and subscribe, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead, sweetheart, okay. do it. All right. Okay. Show me how you do it. Oh, I see how. So show the people how you do All it. All right, sure. <laughs> like that. 